In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a dynamic animated video wall inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of After Effects, you first just want to begin by dragging some footage into your composition. So as you can see in my example, I've got these four video clips and I'll just drag these onto our composition. And the composition in this example is 1920 by 1080. Now from here, you want to go into a layer, new, null object, and from here, we want to select all of our footage. So it doesn't matter if you have four clips, five clips, seven clips, nine clips, whatever it is, you just want to select all of those clips. Use this pit whip icon here. So you've got parent and link here. Use this icon and grab that and drag that onto your null object. So essentially what we've done is we've linked all of those video layers to the null object. And that means if we go into the null object, select the drop down arrow, go transform. If we pull this scale down to 50, all of the video clips are going to come down to 50. But because this is 4K video in this example, this first clip is 4K, we're going to have to pull that down even further. So let's pull that down to around 33 in this example. There you go, that looks great. Now we can just lock the null for now. So we'll lock that. We got onto this first clip and we just move this up over here. So I'll move this just up here somewhere and feel free to use the proportional grid if you wanted reference. So. I'm going to line this up with the middle so the bottom should run across here and the right should run up here. So somewhere around there. Now we'll go to the next clip and we'll do the same thing. We'll move this up and across. We'll get the next clip down. We'll move this down. And then we'll go to this last clip. And as you can see, this last clip was actually a 1080p video rather than a 4K video, which means this now looks tiny in comparison to these videos. So we'll go into the null again. We'll unlock it. We'll decrease the scale so that we can see all of these videos next to each other. We'll go to this 1080p video, press S on the keyboard to load scale, and we'll just increase the scale a little bit. So somewhere around there, that should do the trick. Or alternatively, you can decrease the size of these 4K videos even further. So we'll highlight all of those, press S on the keyboard, and pull the scale down to match the 1080p video, like so. Doing it this way will preserve the quality of this 1080p video. So that's the method that I would recommend. But now that we've done that, because the anchor point is in the middle of all of these layers, they've all moved apart from each other. So you just want to work through and just move these close together again. It doesn't matter if these aren't perfect for now, because we can always go ahead and amend this later on. So with that applied, we can now zoom in on the null object. So we'll go scale, we'll increase the scale. And I'm going to zoom in all the way so that we can get precision editing here. And we'll just move these into that very center like this. And there you go. I'm just going to pull out on the scale. So I'll animate that out. There you go. And now when we turn the proportional grid off, you'll see we've got these four videos now next to each other. Of course, if you wanted to add borders in between all of these, then you can just go ahead and select one of the layers. So we'll select the top left and we'll press the up button four times and the left button four times. Select the next one, we'll do four to the right and four up. Go to the bottom left, four down, four left. And the bottom right can go four down and four to the right again. And that will create this border. Essentially, if we turn on the transparency grid, you can see it's actually just a transparent video behind it. But with this off, it's just a black background by default. If you wanted to change the color of this though, then you can always go layer, new, solid, Select a color of your choice here. So I'm going to go for a dark gray in this example. We'll drag this to the bottom. And then for good measure and for safety, we'll just press S on the keyboard and we'll increase that scale all the way up. So it doesn't matter what we do with this animation. We'll never see the edges of the gray solid. We'll only ever see that gray solid background. But we'll just lock that for now. And then from here, we can go ahead and animate all of this with our null object. So we'll go into the null one. We'll go roughly a second in. And we'll zoom the scale in on this first video in the top left. So it should be somewhere around 100% or so. I might need to go a bit more in my example. So 110. There you go. And we'll move the position up. And there you go. We've got our first video now in full screen. So to animate from this first video to our second video, we want to create a new point on the position and the scale. And we can always do the rotation if you wanted to add a rotation animation, but I'm not going to do that in this example. We'll move over half a second to the right. We'll decrease the scale. We'll move the position over. 
So somewhere around here. And then we'll just move that scale in again like this. So we'll go 110, move the position across. But watching that back, you notice, first of all, that was really quick. So we'll just increase the gap between those keyframes to slow that down. And that means it's going to take longer. And then we're just going to select all of these keyframes. We'll right click, go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. This is converting our linear keyframes to easy ease keyframes. And that basically means rather than suddenly stopping and starting at the keyframes, it will ease in and out of those. It looks a lot nicer and a lot more professional, as you can see. Now that's great, but the problem is we're just sliding from one to the next one and we're kind of losing the other videos. So halfway through that animation, so somewhere around here, I'm going to decrease the scale. I'll move the position down. So somewhere around here. And as you can see, we're starting to see these other videos. So we'll go back even more. So we'll go scale 70 something. And now when we render this out and we play this back, you'll notice we'll zoom out see all the videos and then go into the one that we're going into. So let's watch this back. There you go, that looks really nice. But the problem is adding in this extra keyframe has meant this all feels rather rushed. So again, we'll just increase the gap between those keyframes. We'll render this out, play that back, and that should now look great. Of course, again, if you wanted to speed this up or slow this down, then feel free to move those keyframes to wherever you want them to move to. But essentially from here, all you have to do is just keep moving through this process of animating from one video to the next. And then if you wanted to zoom out like we've done it in this example between the motion, then you just decrease the scale halfway through the motion. Of course, once you've done that motion, if you've transitioned from one clip to another and then you want to see all of them at the same time, we'll just go ahead and create a new keyframe on position, scale. We'll move over a second. We'll decrease the scale all the way down to around 60 something. In fact, we're going to have to go even further. So we'll go 40, 50. There we go. And then we'll just move the position into place. Then once you've done that, you'll see when we render this out, we're going to transition from this full screen clip all the way out to this video grid. So essentially, you can add in as many videos here as you like. Just make sure you parent them to the null object, add them in next to the other videos, and you're going to get this really awesome video wall animation. Just control that animation with your keyframes on the null object. And with all of those parented together, you're going to get this really awesome video wall animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So there you go. That is how you create a video wall animation inside of Adobe After Effects using the null object, parenting all of your video layers to that null object, and then using keyframe animation to create our animation. So thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.